Raise your hand if you like the Sicilian defense. Well, I like it. But how about we spice things up? e4, c5, knight f3, knight c6, this is an open Sicilian. But here we go bishop b5. This is called the Sicilian Rosolimo variation. He goes g6, preparing for a fianchetta. We castle, he obviously completes the fianchetta. c3, with the idea of obviously d4, trying to capture the center. He goes knight f6, we go rook e1, defending this pawn. He castles, we go e5, attacking this knight, and obviously he's gonna move the knight. Here we go d4, and complete this amazing, beautiful chain of pawns. d4 he takes, we can take, and he for example goes d6. We go knight c3, he takes, we take with the pawn, once again reuniting these three lost brothers. Hey man, video games are cool and all, but you know what would be more fun and better for you? If you start playing chess, well, and learning. How do I learn in the best way possible? Well. You follow Alex Chess. And here he goes e5, for example. Then we take the knight, he takes, we take the pawn again. He can go queen c7, and here we have bishop f4. This is a better position for white, but it's still pretty equal. However, if after c3, he doesn't decide to play so aggressively and hides the knight, then we go bishop c6, he takes with the pawn, we go queen a4, attacking this pawn. He'll defend with the bishop d7, we take the pawn, he takes with his other pawn, and here we have a good good move, bishop g5 with the attack on the queen. He has two moves. The correct one would be f6, defending with the pawn, because after we move back, and this is just a much better position. Again we have pressure, some ideas, but doesn't give us that much. But if after f6, instead of defending with the pawn, he defends with the bishop, this is a blunder, a big mistake. Because we take, attack the queen, if he takes with the queen, we go d5, and here is gonna be harder to defend this position for black. 